Hey guys, it's Nancy and I have a wantable style edit and I'm hoping that this will fill the remaining couple of holes I have in my wish list for cruise clothing. So let's get into this. Hello and welcome. I'm really glad that you are here to help me unbox my latest Wantable style edit. I'm looking for a couple of items for my cruise, like I mentioned on the intro. Little concerned about it. I actually intentionally put eight items on my wish list and two of them were white shirts, hoping that they would send me one white shirt and the other six items. And I accidentally saw the, um, the items because I went in to extend the box and the items were right there. And the stylist put um, a few of her own things in there, but we'll see. I also think one item I asked for is not in the color I asked for. So we'll take a look and see. Instead of telling you the whys and wherefores of Wantable, I will just say at the beginning, I have cliff notes in the drop down box for how a Wantable styling edit works or the Wantable whole Wantable styling service, as well as um, my discount link and that will get you a $20 credit or is a $25 credit towards your first uh, edit. They have all sorts of different edits with Wantable. They have themed ones as well as just a regular style edit like this. One's for pajamas, one for workout clothes, and I think they even have for men. So check that out. And I also do want to say uh, a special thank you to whomever used my uh, discount link already because I have some credit with them. So thank you very, very much. That helps me a lot. And everybody always says it helps me continue making videos like this for you, but it does because when I have a credit, um, I feel more secure about ordering a box. I know at least I won't, I won't lose this styling fee. Okay. So when you open up the box, it says your name styled for Nancy Ann, and I'm sure I'll be running over some details on this as um, as we go, you know, how it works when you order one. Let me get a little closer on that so you can see. So they actually have it personalized on the sticker. I think that's so cool. It's all wrapped up in a little burrito. A lot of people like to see. There's the burrito. We got some cool springy looking colors. Um, I was asking for a swimsuit cover up and maxi dresses the two things I wanted um, them to include and I had those things in my wish list so we'll see what's in here prepaid mailer shipping both ways is free or included in the price of the clothing however you want to look at it there is a little pamphlet on the style edit in here is the clothing listed with the prices as well as the stylist note I'll take a look at that in a little bit off camera and here are the items in our box so we have the cozy company need glasses uh, by Cozy Casual, and it looks like, oh, it's a dotted Swiss. Oh, this is cute. Little Swiss dot. So I don't think this one was in my preview, but I kind of like it. A little bit worried about how short it is. Um, we'll see. Uh, with high-waisted pants, I think it would tuck in really nice. We have a Liverpool. It's a short sleeve Henley. Pretty sure I didn't ask for this one either. I asked for cruise wear. This isn't looking real cruise-like for me, but We'll see. I'm, I'm going to check and see my note to her because I may have asked for something a little bit different than I'm envisioning. A Z supply size medium. It looks like it's um, just kind of a regular, this sagey green color, and it's got a seam down the back. So that's kind of unique. It looks like it could possibly be a linen blend. Here's the swimsuit cover up. So I asked for this in black and she sent it to me in cream or ecru, I guess you would call it. Um, maybe they were out of black in my size, but it's a crochet. I'm still looking for something that I'll feel secure, but I can get on and off easily when we're at either in port um, at a beach, which we really don't plan on doing, but who knows, or on the ship um, at the pool, one of the pools there. And then we have the white top. So I love the sleeve on this and of the two white tops I asked for, this is my favorite. I didn't realize it would be off white. So I like a real crisp, clean, true white it tends to be my favorite. However, I've been known to break my rule and go with an off white shirt sometimes, but I did not realize that this one was off white. That's okay. I'll enjoy trying it anyway. And then 
I requested this one. Um, I believe, is this a maxi dress? I had a maxi dress and a midi dress. This might be the midi, I don't recall. It has a wrap style top, some little flutter sleeves. The print is beautiful and a nice wide ruffle at the bottom. So we'll see how that works. And last, I requested these. I remember the price, don't faint. <laughs> they were $105, but they, I've been wanting a pair of white jeans and I had a feeling these might be long enough and they might work. They've got a high rise. High rise is always more flattering on me. Um, they're by Dear John. I've never tried anything, Dear John. They're size 31. And I think the waist may be a little big, but sometimes I think that and then I try it on and it's fine. And they do have an unfinished hem. Okay, so those are the items in my Wantable box and I will be back in just a minute with the try on. I was going to do this with me modeling and then talking head of myself next to me modeling the clothing for you, but I'm having a hard time with words and I think this will be easier for me for some reason with these clothes if I just do it while they're on. So. I apologize if you enjoy that format. I think we're all gonna have a better experience if I do this this way. Okay, so I decided to start out the outfits with the white jeans that I had really been looking forward to trying. I've been looking for the perfect pair of white jeans for a long time. I'm thinking I may have found them here, so I'd love to know what you think about them. White is always gonna make me just look just a little bit bigger because it's white, but they're really in style right now, and I think for a cruise, a pair of white jeans would be great. These are the bright, crisp white that I really like. They have an unfinished hem and a wide leg. Unfinished hems, after a while, I start chasing after the long phrase with a pair of scissors and trimming them off, but I can just run a row of stitching down close to the bottom, and it will keep that from going up too far. They have traditional five pocket styling. I'll see in the footage if I don't like the way it looks on the back when I turn around for you. Nice big pockets back here, which is great for us girls who have a little bit more going on in the booty. Um, at first I thought the waist was really big and there is some room, but it's not too awful as often happens when I wear jeans around for a while. Sometimes they just settle in and I found that sometimes these higher priced denim can almost like custom fit to my body, especially if I wash them a time or two. So these may, these may very well work for me. Um, again, this is the one item I do know the price on. They're $105, but I don't mind paying $105 for a good pair of jeans. So here is the top. Well, I'll let you see it tucked in first. It is a slub knit. I think this color is called Silver Pine or something like that. This is by Z Supply, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll cover that for sure on the wrap up. Little V-neck here. I, I don't think it's unflattering. I just don't know if it's anything real exciting or anything I really need. So this might be like if I need a fifth item to get that 20% discount that Wantable offers with five items or more, um, this could be a fifth item I would throw in to to get that get that discount. I probably who knows. I might actually wind up getting the the shirt free that way. So here it is with a little bit of a front tuck. You know what, I, I heard a tip from Dawn at Just Doing My Best. If you wanna look her up, she does she does a lot of clothes, not unboxing, she just talks about clothes, and she does a lot of things on beauty. Really, I, I love her. I've got great advice for her from her over the years. But anyway, she said, just give your top a twist for a good front tuck, and then just use your finger to just tuck that part in. And then, there you go. I, boy, that was a good tip. That looks a lot better on a front tuck than any front tuck I did before I got that advice from her, and that was on a fairly recent video, so you may want to check that out. But, so I think this is a cute little tee. It doesn't super thrill me, but there's nothing wrong with it, so we'll check the price at the end. Um, and then, I want to try on what's supposed to be a swimsuit cover-up. I was so bummed. This is by Cozy Co. To see that it was a size medium because I think I really could use a size large at my current weight and size. I would normally wear this over only a swimsuit, not over the clothes, but I'm not gonna run upstairs and put a swimsuit on. So I think the styling on it's cute. And by the way, the stylist was her name Jordan. Um, she said that she they didn't have it in black. So she sent it in, yes, Jordan is her name. She sent it in this uh, ecru color or off-white. I think I need a large. I mean, look, it's just, so what I might do, I, I thought I requested this in a large black, 
I don't know if maybe she didn't see that or maybe I'm mistaken, that could be user error, but I might go in and see if I can exchange it for a large in a black if they have it available in my size in the black. Because my, my swimsuit's leopard print, it would look good with it, but I think I'd like black better. The really high slits concern me just a little, but I don't know if I'd worry about that so much on the cruise ship. So it does have a tie and it is this mesh. So I, I think it's cute. I just would prefer black, that's all. So, all right, we will be back in a minute with another top. Well, next up is this really pretty little dotted Swiss top. I love dotted Swiss, it's one of my favorite fabrics. I really like the flutter sleeves. Um, a lot of times I don't like these that don't define my waist, but I can see where this could be real breezy and comfortable and I don't, I don't think it's terrible on me. A lot of times I will try and tuck tops like this, but this one has so much volume that I found when I do that, it can kind of create a bubble back there in the back, especially as this shirt starts working its way out, which this one would do because it's not super long, so I don't think it's gonna want to really stay tucked in for a very long time. But all in all, I think it's cute. Um, it's got a little bit of a scoop neckline there. In the back, it has elastic back here on the back. My bra is working fine with it, which is nice. It does not show my bra under the arms. I love that. I'm always confused. Am I a medium or a large? And this one is a medium, and thankfully, it's fitting me really well. My biggest concern with this top is if it's gonna wrinkle, because I did the squeeze test where you squeeze real hard and let go, and I can tell it, it kind of holds some wrinkles. And I had purchased another top from Wantable that was in a very similar type cottony fabric to this. And the first time I washed it, it was adorable, but when I washed it, man, did it wrinkle. And the little ruffles at the sleeves are all bunched up now, and I need to get in there with an iron. And I, I don't want to iron if I don't have to, you know? So this is another one that may be one that throws me over um, into getting five items for the 20% discount. I think it's cute. Um, and I think it's actually, I love the top. I'm just worried about it wrinkling. That's all. So we'll kind of take a look at the end and see what the price is and how things shake out. But let's come back with another top. Next top, we have this really soft and comfortable Henley by Liverpool. This is a really thin, very fine rib knit in this dark navy. I've always loved the Henley style. Um, it's a very basic, it feels like it's a good quality, but maybe I'm a little jaded by the, by the name Liverpool. It's got the short sleeves, just kind of a classic Henley styling, but with a V-neck instead of the high neck, which often is the case with Henleys. I'll turn around and show you the back. I think this one is a medium too. I'm really glad it's a medium and not a large. I think it would just be too big in a large. So nice basic piece, lots of things you could do with it. Doesn't strike me as particularly cruise-like, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll be back with a dress, I think. I'm going all natural and barefoot in this dress. I was too lazy to run upstairs and grab a pair of sandals. This would match with so many pairs of shoes. I'm sure that you can completely envision. I mean, anything from pumps to a pair of tennies to uh, sandals, either heeled or flat. I'm confident I have plenty of pairs of shoes that would work with this really beautiful dress. Uh, it has a wrap style at the top on this gorgeous bright print on a navy background. Little flutter sleeves, aren't they cute? Uh, it's a tiered skirt. I thought it was just a ruffle at the bottom, which I liked when I pulled it out of the box, but I did not realize it was actually tiered. And I'm a little bit concerned for me personally on most people, this would be gorgeous. But when the top tier hits really close to, or in this case, probably right at the widest place to my hips, I just feel like it makes a straight line across exactly where I don't need to be calling attention. Let me show you from the back. And from, while we're back here, look at this cute little tie and opening. This dress is so soft. It's so soft and so comfortable and that tear bums me out. Um, also the waist on it, it is an elastic waist and it's a little bit high. So it's up here and my waist is down here. And when this happens, um, it tends to create kind of like a a straight line from here to my butt and it makes my waist look a little bit wider and it moves around quite frankly in an uncomfortable way around my waist. I just tend to prefer having elastic uh, at, at, actually at my the small of my waist then up higher in near my rib cage. 
So I, I think it's a beautiful dress. It's super cute. And I don't understand why the stylist, honestly, I don't understand why Jordan didn't send me one or both of the dresses I had on my wish list. She didn't say they weren't available. I know they were available when I asked for them and I requested them just a couple of days before she actually started styling, but that would have been a sure sell. Um, cause I knew that those would work on me and they didn't, they didn't have features that I knew wouldn't, wouldn't work on my body. I was really prepared to purchase at least five and possibly all seven items that were on my wish list. And maybe I should have worded it stronger in my, um, styling note. I should, maybe I should have a note to the stylist. Maybe I should have said, please send me everything in my wish list and choose one of the two white tops if at all possible. Maybe I should have done that because this is one time, usually I only keep one piece from each box because I just have enough clothes and I don't have unlimited amount of money. But this was one time I really put pieces I wanted for the cruise specifically and I had such high hopes and I'm just a little bit bummed because I wanted to at least get a dress out of this. So anyway, all right, I have gone on long enough. This is a gorgeous dress. It's a very comfortable dress. It's just not exactly the right dress for me. All right, we have one more top. Last item in this edit is this really cute puff sleeve t-shirt. Isn't it darling? The sleeves just make this. It's their eyelet and they puff out and they're fully lined right here. And that lining is there because it holds the elasticized um, sleeve in, in place so it doesn't slide down and lose its shape on there. It's really, really cute. Just a standard t-shirt style here. I kind of wish the neckline was a little bit lower, but it's not too bad and it is perfect for different types of necklaces. This, by the way, is a layered necklace I got from, I think it might've been my last Wantable. It's a gold dipped. I wear it quite a bit. It was only $32. I love that. So um, here's the length that can be tucked in, of course. And I have styled this with uh, my Hudson jeans from my, not my last front door fashion, but the one before that. These are my favorite pair of jeans. They were expensive. They're luxury denim, but let me tell you, anytime they're clean, these are the ones I reach for and I wear them until they're so dirty. I don't have a choice but to wash them because I love them that much. They hold their shape in the wash. They're fabulous. So if you ever can get a pair of luxury denim jeans, I would recommend it as long as you really, really love them. But the price per wear has definitely worked out for me on these. And then these little heeled mules came from a stitch fix about a year ago. So that's just how I styled this. And this is how I would style it in everyday life. I love the top. Um, it's a little see-through and part of me doesn't care. The, the distinguishing thing for me is, can you see my belly button <laughs> through it? And you can't. If you saw that dreadful drape fit try on I had where I said I was wearing the cat suit, the cat burglar outfit, and I said, if you're, you can see your belly button through your, short, your shirt, it's too tight. Um, but I don't think that's the case here. So that, did I show you the back? So um, I'll get a look at it on the footage and see what I think. But so far, I pretty much like this one. Okay, I'll be back in just a second with a wrap up. With Wantable, you have five days to try and decide what you would like to keep. Um, I'm glad for that because I need to think about this one just a little bit. And you always get seven items in case you've never done a Wantable edit before and you want to try one. I didn't say that at the beginning. I wanted to get right to the close, but I like that because you don't have to keep the whole box to get the discount. And that gives you the luxury of kind of pick, picking the five best if you want to take advantage of it. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to talk about the prices um, and a couple little reflections while I'm looking at the pieces and then we'll talk about what I might keep and all that good stuff. Um, first up is the short ruffle sleeve Swiss dot top in Marsala. Uh, this is a size medium. It is on sale for $36.75. Huh, it's normally $49. So with the keep five discount, that would bring it down even lower. I like that one. I'm going to get a look at the footage and see what I thought about it on me. Also concerned about it wrinkling. This, by the way, it's 100% rayon. I checked the fabric content. So that's kind of a wrinkly fabric. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay, then we've got the Fiona Wide Leg in Optic White, size 31 by Dear John, 105. I think I really like these. I'm gonna take a look at the footage again, but I, I like those. Um, and a good pair of white jeans. I've been looking for a really, like a year. 
So if those work, I'm keeping them. All right, then we've got the short sleeve Henley rib net top in dark navy by Liverpool. This is also a size medium, it is $48. Um, this is a great little top. Um, and you can feel it's good quality. Then again, I could be a little jaded because it's by Liverpool. I don't think $48 for a Liverpool top is at all unreasonable. Nice little basic piece. And I do tend to like to spend a little bit more on basics that I know I'm going to wear for many years. It just doesn't feel particularly cruise like to me. All right. And then we've got the Dream Slub Short Sleeve Tee in Silver Pine by Z Supply. This one is $36.75 and it was normally $49. So that's a nice discount on this. Um, I'm not excited by it, but I'm not upset by it either. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't tend to be a super big green person. There are some greens I really love. I don't know how I feel about this green. I don't, I don't dislike it. I think I just need to get a good look at it on me. Then we have the one I'm wearing right now. This is the short sleeve eyelet sleeve knit top in white. This is a size medium, which is a six to eight. It's by Skyser Blue. I did request this one and it's $59. That's expensive for a tee. I love the detailing. It's really, really cute. I am concerned about how see-through it is. And I'm wondering if I could have gone up to a size large. What do you think? But then sometimes when I go up to a size large, then it's too big through the shoulders. I almost feel like this could gain a little size in the shoulders. It's kind of rolling in. I, I think if it came out a little farther, it'd be okay. Might look into exchanging this one. Hmm, we'll see. Then there is the sleeveless open knit waist tie cardigan cover up in natural, size medium, six to eight by Cozy Co. And it's $69. This is too small for what I want it for. Um, I'd want to size up to a large or maybe even an extra large because of my hips. And I definitely would want a black. So I need to look at that and see if I can exchange this as well. <laughs> I wish she would have just sent me the things from my wish list. She would have had a really good sale. Then we've got the tie tiered midi in navy coral size large 10 to 12 and it is $68. And again, I had a couple of little styling problems with it. It's by Love Appella. 68 is a great price on this beautiful dress. I just think because a couple different styling issues on it, it's not the right dress for me. All right, so if you keep all seven of these, it is, let me get the, the eyes back on, $422.50. The keep five discount is $84.50 off of everything. So the order subtotal is uh, $338. Then you get your styling fee credit back of 20, which would bring all of it down to $318 plus tax, which wouldn't be bad for seven pieces, especially from a styling service box. But uh, they, they could have sold me at least five pieces if I could have gotten the items that were on my wish list. And I know I keep saying that, but this was a time when I really needed and would have used the most pieces. So, okay. So let's talk about if I were to keep five for the discount here, eliminating two, the dress would go obviously. And I'd probably let this go because of the wrinkle ability. Um, and then I would see potentially about upsizing this maybe, although I'll look at the footage, I may like it where it is. And then I definitely would need to upsize this. So there's a lot of if and going on with me keeping five. The one item I'm sure I'm gonna keep unless I absolutely the ha hate the way it looked on video is the optic white jeans. All right, so there we go. That is my wantable style edit. Tell me what you think. I just love interacting with you guys down in the comments below. So please do comment. It's an awful lot of fun getting to know you guys a little bit and hearing what you think. And sometimes you guys have some really great tips for me. If you found this video at all helpful or fun or informative or entertaining, I would really be honored if you would subscribe. And please do be sure, of course, to hit that like button because it moves the video up in the all important and extremely confusing algorithm. And Again, thank you very much for being here. We will see you on my next video. Bye-bye and be blessed. I'm hoping that this will fill the last couple of holes I have in my wish list for clue, cruise, clues, cr clothing. Perfect. Let's do this again.